Hi everyone, New England Gardening here. Today is Friday, June 30th, 2023. Uh, I don't think it's noontime yet. Just about. And I've got video of my lane side here. I swarmed. I caught it. And it landed in the neighbor's tree here. And you, as you can see, it's a completely different environment. It was pouring out uh, when they were hanging out on, the, on a limb up there. And I didn't catch it, but they left. But before that, I cleaned up these hives and sprayed them with Swarm Commander and to no avail. I didn't notice anything in particular. I think there was a lot of, well, there was a lot of robbing going on because there was, there was uh, some honey on some of the frames and I had to clean up the wax caps, cappings off the bottom board. But I had this box inside and I had a bottom board. It's, uh, what is this? I think it's a 10 frame box. No, I had this on the, on the eight frame hive here that I converted from 10 frame. So I had a bottom board for it, but I did not have a top, uh, I didn't have a telescoping cover, so. I ordered one off of Man Lake, and uh, there was robbing going on. There was a little patch of honey on one of the frames, and I looked inside, and you know, it was just robbing. And um, so, when I saw bee activity, I'm like, oh wow, the robbing's still going on. Maybe I'll get used to coming here, and there's a chance that some bees will move in. But then on closer inspection, I'm like, wait a minute, they're going directly into the, the hive. And then I noticed there was a bee there uh, fanning. And so, 99.9% um, .9 certain bees have moved in. Um, there's no pollen, which makes sense because they have no brood. So I threw in like four frames that were, I think three, uh, three had nothing on it and the fourth one was partially drawn out on one side. And um, so they're gonna be concentrating on building comb. But we've had so much rain recently that, um, you know, hopefully there's enough nectar out there and if there's robbing going on, it must be that there's some some demand for uh, slim resources out there. So, oh, I, did I uh, zoom in too much? Um, I put my ear to the hive, and it definitely. I thought it was. I thought it didn't look like a lot of activity for a viable swarm. But, um, yeah, uh, you can see there, they're fanning. Disappointed that I didn't see it. But, I'm pretty sure it's not, I don't think it's my, my swarm, because that, that was a pretty big swarm. I'll show you, uh, pictures while I'm talking intermittently. But I've been contemplating taking off the lid there. But I put my ear to it, and there's a good, good humming going on inside the box. So there's a lot of fanning going on. I do have an inner cover with the notch on it, so I do have that. But I have the the box here that has this ventilating cover on it slash uh, inner cover. It's all built into it, and it has screen around it sort of can't see it because of the telescoping cover but I was thinking that maybe I should put that on but I don't want to I don't want to disturb them it could be I don't know it could be a virgin queen from my hive maybe there were multiple swarms and uh, yeah so I lost the queen that overwintered and she might or might not be in here. I'm pretty sure that swarm left and there was still like robbing going on in this box. 
definitely was not this activity. It was, um, you know, wandering around the box, measuring it out, and going inside. And when I, the one time I did go inside there, I realized that there was honey on one of the frames, but maybe there was just a swarm that was hanging out and needed energy too before it took off. And just reinforced coming to this location. So it's, it's hard to discern what direction the bees were coming from. But yeah, it was, to my surprise, I'm pretty sure a swarm has moved in. I was thinking that going in the Wayans Hive there and uh, seeing how many swarm cells was, were left behind and distributing them to the empty boxes I have here. I did that one year, but they all, I think that was the year before last, and only one made it. So yeah, that's a New England gardening. Oh, I guess uh, I put some mammoth sunflowers in, I put all this energy into some of these plants, and then all of a sudden I noticed some plants chewed the top, with the tops chewed off, and I knew it wasn't a rabbit. And I knew exactly what it was, and it was a groundhog. So I kept my eyes open, and sure enough, there's a groundhog. Always this yard. So, I'm even thinking of maybe taking some of my urine and throwing it in the corner over there. But some of these tomato plants are just starting to take off and they were knocked over so it was trying to reach well I had lettuce it flattened the lettuce so I pulled it all out and threw it in one of those have a heart cages so all my Oregon snow peas now that we've, I mean, we had some really nice weather for late in the season and the summer here for growing cold weather crops or rainy and just like overnight these snow peas just had pods on them. It was just flowers a couple of days ago and now snow peas. So, and it's so nice. Right off of the plant. So, it's war for that groundhog. I know it has its eyes on this. And this stuff is so tender, it could just devastate this in minutes. So I have to get the snow peas while I can. And I got some blueberries starting to turn here and Northland. And I noticed the mockingbird was already over here. And here's the update on the Arari Satsuma, the size of the fruit, it's end of June. Been meaning to order some of Full Wind Growers special fertilizer, citrus fertilizer. Um, another cutting that I decided to see if it would take off. Left over the cuttings after I got rid of all my figs. And there's another one. Um, it's not looking too good there all of a sudden. Maybe it's just too hot. There's a vermilionaire just starting to really bloom. Uh oh. So, is this going to cast another swarm? Or is that just orientation flight? Yeah, so of the, uh, all the boxes, I've got another nuke over on a picnic table. Um, they went with that. Deadwood frame box. So I, I broke down this. I got some pretty um, bratty comb in it. Scraped it all off. And just hosed it down. 
with the sprayer or with the, the nozzle try to get a good stream on there but I see people use uh, pressure washers now they say soak soak them in Dawn detergent for a couple of weeks and then take them out and spray them with a the pressure washer and they have some $99 ones now that's supposed to be somewhat okay at least for I would imagine just for cleaning the plastic from frames so yeah uh, this looks like they're kind of excited so I wonder what's going to happen yeah so this is where one of my hopefuls was going to be for the mammoth sunflowers and you see I got the leaves chopped off I just threw some netting scrambled to find something same thing with this apple tree here but uh, yeah I finally put the blueberries in the ground just decided better in the ground than other season having them now in pots Look at the size of these though. This is these are the ones from sort of like an heirloom variety from that I don't forget the name, it's a famous Jersey blueberry farm. I did a video mm -hmm. on it, unboxing. And uh Yeah. So I pile up some Some dirt. I've got some peat. I need to acidify the soil around here. And I need to dig up these strawberry plants, putting out runners left and right. But oh, my battery is running low. Yeah, this is not orientation. This is just streaming out. Maybe they're honey bound in there. Yeah, it's a full fledged uh, swarm. Can't see where they're going. Maybe it's just a practice flight. Oh, is I wonder if they're gonna try to take over this or maybe that was just a cleaning crew. Or there's um drift going on with the new new queen in there. We're all going in, in that now. Maybe that was, those were just... Uh, were those just scouts? I don't know, there's fanning going on and there was already a loud, pretty good amount of bees uh, sound in there. Maybe they, they confused that with... Uh, I have the queen coming out as they're going in there. Interesting. Alright, so in the time it took me to get the extension cord, because my battery died, activities pretty much died down, and they're marching in the box. I don't see 
like fanning, it seems like. And I'll get the sun to my back and just, it's obscuring the display here. But I definitely streaming inside. Now I don't know if those are just advanced scouts that were cleaning out the, the box. Uh, it sounded like there was, I, I didn't look inside, but it sounded like there was a good amount of, oh, is there, is there any, com is there conflict going on right there? Maybe there was a, I was thinking, I was wondering if there was a hive in there already. But they were too weak to defend because they just moved in themselves. No, I guess there isn't any. I'd be seeing dead bees in the front there, or a lot of bees dropping, fighting each other. But they're just, they moved all in. There's a good, I don't know, uh, football size of bees on the, hanging off the bottom board, and then they all streamed in. I had this, this plastic hive stand forever, and noticed that one of the flaws in this thing is water gets in so each leg has standing water in it so I don't know if well, I, I don't know if they expect these to be used in the north but that would end up cracking in the winter and uh, plus it didn't fit the the bottom board I cut down for an eight frame box. So I had to cut a piece of plywood and then just put the screws in the plywood and set the, the bottom board on top of that. Which normally it sits on the ledge that's built into it and you screw into the bottom board. But I, I drilled holes in the bottoms of the legs and then toward the front because it's gonna be tilted toward the front. That way the water could run out and it worked. So. Yeah, I'm not certain what happened just now. Unless I just caught the beginning of, of how a swarm transitions with some advanced... Like I said, I, there was a good amount of humming coming out of that box. Doesn't seem to be any conflict. And I didn't have an entrance redu reducer, so I had to scramble to get a cut a piece of wood. It just looked like a two inch opening. So hey, I caught, I caught my uh, second swarm. And definitely the, the one that left, um, that went someplace else. Because they were they were pretty big, and I would, uh, you know, unless I don't know, would they return if they've already landed on a, on a branch and have spent a couple of days on it through the rain? They had no options. I think somebody else has a hive near me because I've seen bees on flowers, and then they take off uh, leaving the yard. So. Probably like the second year I've sent them some free bees.
you know, I'm just thinking if one queen already left, and then this could be a virgin queen that left, then they still have some cells that haven't hatched. And So I, w I won't go into this hive for, I was going to say a month, a couple of weeks. See what's going on. So this is New England Gardening. Today is Friday, June 30th. It's 12 noon. Thanks for watching.